guys, I'm here today with a back tricep and oblique workout today, just in time for the weekend. In the video, I've included my actual workout, not the warm up and the cool downs. So definitely make sure to stretch before performing any kind of workout and cool down afterwards to help those muscles recover. Check out the description box for the details on the workout. And without further ado, let's get this started. So the first move is going to be a dumbbell front raise in a squat hold. Start off light with dumbbells if needed and perform four sets of 12 reps. If the dumbbells are too heavy, just swap them out and work your way up. Keep your back straight and remember to breathe. So the next move is going to be a bent over back row with tricep extension. Um, I used two 10 pound dumbbells and this was definitely challenging for me. I did about four sets of 10, but as mentioned before, find a weight that is challenging yet workable for you. And then over time, just work your way up. So this third move can either be used with a heavy dumbbell or with a kettlebell. If you are exercising at home, hell, you can use a gallon water bottle. Get creative. Um, this exercise at a kettlebell back squeeze where both sides are worked. As you can see, I switched them off in between. Um, you can definitely do this with two kettlebells or two dumbbells. And to be honest, I should have done that. But regardless, this is still a good exercise to uh, add to your back day. I did four sets of 24 with this workout. That way it would equal up to 12 reps each side. For the fourth move, you can once again use one or two dumbbells, a kettlebell, or you could do what I did, use a weighted plate. Uh, when I go to the gym, I use a variety of items. That's just my thing, but you know, definitely do what works for you. Uh, similar to the last move, you want to squeeze your shoulders inward. This is called shoulder retraction. And I did about four sets of 12 with this one and I used a 25 pound plate. So now it is time to train obliques, which is something I feel is not trained enough, at least for me. Uh, this fifth move is going to be a standing oblique crunch. And for this, I used a 20 pound kettlebell. This was definitely a challenge for me. So as a result, I did four sets of 20 because why not? I'm crazy. <laughs> Now for the sixth move, you'll need to lie down flat on a mat and we're continuing to work the obliques. Now this move is killer and I love doing it at least once a week. It is a knee tap to toe tap oblique crunch and you're gonna stay on one side for four sets of 24, which will equal up to 12 knee taps and 12 toe taps. As you can see, I'm not switching off. I'm just staying on that one side and trust me, your obliques will be on fire after this one. So to finish out this workout, I decided to add in a little bit of cardio, which I decided to increase throughout the week since I have been bulking and I'm ready to start cutting a little bit. I like to walk on the treadmill at an incline of anything above 10 and I like to keep a consistent pace of like 3.0 speed. Um, I don't do this all the time. Sometimes I use the Stairmaster, other days I like to perform sprints, but today it's me and the treadmill against the world. So I decided to stay here for about 10 minutes before finishing out my workout with a cool down. Before closing out the video, I wanted to give my current body stats, which I am proud of. I am currently 155 pounds and I've gained close to 10 pounds since I started bulking. 
Um, I could definitely see the difference in my legs, my glutes, and just overall muscle definition. And if you would like for me to give more details on how I've been going about my bulking journey, just let me know in the comments. Um, I don't remember my hip to waist measurements at the moment. I honestly have not measured them in so long. Um, but it might be pretty interesting to see where I am currently um, before I get too deep into my cutting. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment and I'll see y'all next time.